to New Jersey Viewpoint. I'm Ken Rosato. This morning we bring you the Italian-American One Voice Coalition, which concerns itself with the discrimination or negative stereotyping suffered by Italian-Americans. Welcome back to New Jersey Viewpoint. I'm Ken Rosato. The Italian-American One Voice Coalition is a national network of Italian-American activists united to fight against the continuing defamation, discrimination, and negative stereotyping of Italian-Americans. With us today from the Italian-American One Voice Coalition are Andre Domino, the president who is also the CEO of ADM Tronics, based in Bergen County, and Dr. Manny Alfano, a board member and activist who is a retired teacher and chiropractor. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being with us today. Thank you. Thank you. First of all, how many years ago did you start the organization? Well, more than 20 years ago. Okay. All right. We, we, um, we started with uh, Unicorn National as an anti-bias committee, but then from that, or, uh, that was a couple of years before, and then the early 1990s, boom, we started the One Voice Coalition. And, and what, what led you to want to begin this organization? Well, number one, <clears throat> uh, the negative stereotyping that was going on for such a long time. Number one, we are very proud Italian-Americans, uh, Italian very proud to be American, and we felt that we wanted to be treated just like any other American. And because of the media, we were not. So that, that year, uh, we had a, a program, the Untouchables. You remember the Untouchables? Sure. Well, we picked it in the, during a storm, 200, and they gave us an opening to come on the show to talk about it, and that started One Voice. Okay, and, and are you finding you're getting traction today, or are you finding that, it, that the discrimination continues today? Well, actually, I have to say, Ken, it's, it's accelerating now at this point, because before there were these fictionalized shows where they right. depicted Italian-Americans and stereotypes, but now we've had this explosion of the reality programs, of course, started with Jersey Shore, and all of its spawn after that that has really exploded now with Italian-American stereotyping. But then you see shows disappear. I mean, I mean, you had The Sopranos, for instance, that's gone. Right. And, and there's, but when, then you, there are people who argue, for instance, like within the show The Sopranos, they actually dealt with the issue of Italian-American stereotyping. I believe one of the first episodes, right. they actually deal with uh, the well, very we were issue. We pressure on them. We were, it was almost like they were feeding off of us. It, because I actually, I, I, I had not seen the show but un until I saw this one episode and the one episode I had seen was that episode right. where it was as if they had read letters that you generated That's right. Right. and in that they said well Italian Americans are, are known for this this and this and people say etc etc and they were talking about the discriminatory facts and why you should be proud and why etc etc do you think that that was prompted no, by let me just interject something you Please. said before they're gone they're not gone they're in in, in reruns Every day you can see the Sopranos, you know, so they're, they're never gone. So, But I do think that that was a reaction at the time to the pressure that was being put on by uh, One Voice as well as other organizations. And we've even seen it now when we've protested other programs. We've seen reaction from, for example, the cast of Jersey Shore or the cast of Mob Wives and so forth. So they will respond to us. And, and the problem that you have, Ken, is that people say, well, gee, why are you complaining so much about it? You don't see it with any other ethnicity. Italian Americans are the last ethnicity that it's okay to bash. There doesn't seem to be any political correctness when it comes to Italian Americans. And that goes from advertising to newscasters, <laughs> to TV shows and reality shows, Italian Americans are always portrayed in a negative light, and I'm, it's just not fair. I'm an Italian American, though. I mean, if sure. I can speak for myself, I'm portrayed pretty well. They, you know, they treat me pretty darn well here. So, I, I if right. we will, I mean, sure. I, so, I just speaking for myself, I get treated. You know, and I'm not, I'm, it's not just because I'm on here right now, <laughs> but they treat me pretty darn well here. So, sure, you know. but, but it's it's the way that it's depicted. It's not you representing yourself, but it's when they create these programs and so forth. They want to. It, it's almost like a show that they want to put on the the persona of the mobster mafioso or now the bimbos and buffoons every time you see an Italian American in these programs you see this kind of stereotype of course right. with some exceptions but the exceptions are small right. throughout the throughout primetime media it's very difficult to find a positive Italian American role okay and and do you think that that uh eventually that it will change do you think that it just requires pressure or do you think it's more a, 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 a fact that there are such a huge number I think Italian Americans by numbers 
uh, are among the largest, if not the largest, ethnicity in so, the United States. Yeah, and actually, because it's large, it's okay to pick on. In other words, when you're a tiny number, it's not okay to pick on. But when you're a huge number, it's sort of accepted. Is that, do you no, think that no, plays I, I into it? I mean, certainly Italian Americans are the fifth largest ethnicity, but the other ethnicities, you don't see it. You'll see a positive role. You'll see a judge or a police chief and so forth. But every time you see an Italian American on a program, he's either a mobster, a mafioso, or a bimbo and buffoon. And all these reality shows are just exploding with these hyper stereotypes of Italian Americans. It's just not fair. Well, the other thing, too, is what half the members of the Jersey Shore cast weren't even Italian. That's right. correct. That's even worse. That's like a minstrel show. They were playing at being objectionable Italians. Right. So, ultimately, what would you like to see? Is it just that whenever Italian Americans are depi depicted in media, they should be depicted how? Should they just be depicted for the only the positive contributions and neg never the negative contributions? First of all, we don't want to sugarcoat it. Uh, characters or roles. What we're looking for is uh, roles that really depict Italian Americans who, who we really are. A newscaster, a doctor, a lawyer, and, and with with no um, uh, problems as far as that negative, there's going to that little niche that they put in that, that taints them, you know. Just run it, run, run it just like any other uh, uh, American. And, and that's all we've been asking for and we don't get it. We don't have that balance, Ken. That's the problem. Okay, so in other words, see, the thing is, though, it, for somebody, some, some might say, well, I mean, there are shows that do have people who have Italian last names, and maybe we're not focusing on them because they just kind of blend in in the background, because they're sort of mainstreamed, and maybe we're just focusing on the shows like The Jersey Shore, or like The Sopranos, et cetera, or like The Godfather, and because they were so big. What is it about American culture that the shows like those tend to explode in popularity. Well, I think that the mobster mafioso persona has been glamorized, and I think that's the problem. People like watching it. But uh, mobsters and mafiosos, uh, criminals, have not been exclusive to Italian Americans. They're across all ethnicities. But when you see it on TV, it's always an Italian American in that mafia or mobster role. And that's where there's not the balance. And you know, unfortunately, perception becomes reality. And when you go out there, I mean, I'm an engineer. And I'm an Italian American. I'm proud Italian American. But when I go out there, people try to, I'll give an example. I went to do a demonstration in Utah to medical doctors. And when I came off the discussion, they wanted to know if I was connected or carrying a gun. So therefore, that perception is out there. And perception becomes reality. Yeah. Do, you, do you even find that, I mean, it's, it's amazing. I'm just stunned that somebody would even even kiddingly say no, something like that. The that's fact true. that that was, would really be said is, is stunning. Uh, do, you, do you see a time that this will just stop? Is it because uh, the Italians came to the United States in different waves and maybe it'll take another one or two generations before this stops? Well, I think part of the Italian-American background is Italian, Italians coming from the other side always wanted to be American. My father instilled in me a pride uh, of our patriotism. So I think that there's not been this speaking out about this. But now, because of one voice, we're objecting to it and we're looking for the fairness. So that's what our organization does. We point out these negative stereotypes and discrimination, and we just would like that balance, just like all the other ethnicities. Nothing special. Treat us like you do the others. Andre Domino and Dr. Manny Alfano, One Voice Coalition, thank you so much for being with us today. All the best to you with the organization. Thank, thank you, Ken.